It's day 139 of the project and today's scent of the day should have been a brand new release uh, but the postman was a no-show again so instead I'm going to talk about this one from Swiss fragrance house Gizada. This is called Ambassador for Men and to find out my thoughts on this one stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 139 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. So today's featured scent is Gizada Ambassador for Men, which also comes in a, a woman's variant too, so be careful not to order that one online by mistake because they do look uh, fairly similar. It was launched in 2019 and the face behind all the marketing for this one was a guy called Jeremy Meeks who is famously known as the hot felon after a police department in the USA like posted a, a mugshot of him online which went viral very quickly and he's since become a, a hugely successful male model. The fragrance comes in two sizes, a 50ml at £54 and a 100ml bottle size for £75. But I picked this up in a, a gift set which included a 50ml bottle and also a shower gel for £53.95 and that was from the Parfum, uh, Parfum Dreams website. I first become aware of this one when I received a, a sample of it in a, an order that I purchased for a, another fragrance and it was an instant love at first sniff and it actually pissed me off a little bit because the full bottle that I bought was garbage and this one just blew it away so spoiler alert this is an absolute beauty and I will be buying another 100 milliliter backup bottle of this one uh, when this one starts to get a bit of a dent in it. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation, and like I say, I bought this one in a gift set, so it came uh, in, in this really nice presentation box. Uh, it's got a full colour image on the front and then uh, we've got the branding in gloss black uh, and it's slightly raised, it's got like a slightly raised finish on it. Uh, there's nothing anywhere else on the box apart from just at the top we've got uh, an ambassador set for men. Uh, inside the box, uh, when you remove the lid, it takes you a while to remove the lid. Yeah. But inside, uh, we've got the uh, the fragrance and the shower gel, and it's just all it's all mounted into this uh, plush black velour surround. The bottle looks really stylish, and it has a, a really premium uh, quality feel to it. Uh, it features the name of the house on the front in black and gold. Uh, and then there's a, a Gizada logo embossed into, into the top of the cap. And the cap, by the way, is a, a magnetic cap. And there's always something uh, really reassuring when you hear a magnetic cap snap into place. Uh, I do really like uh, this metal detailing that you get around the uh, neck of the atomizer, which says Ambassador, and then it says by Gizada Switzerland there. And that's also in like a, a raised finish, so it's uh, a really got a really nice tactile feel to it. The spray atomizer uh, delivers a really nice, decent blast of fine mist, and the juice uh, is in a, a really nice, deep amber colour, um, and that always gives me a, a nice first impression. But yeah, I think the uh, presentation on this one is uh, very stylish and uh, quite minimalistic. The top notes in this one are green mandarin, apple, cardamom and violet. In the heart we've got lavender, black pepper, peony, patchouli and mango. And in the base there's vetiver, amber, vanilla, moss and teak. Yeah, so you've heard all the reviewers, including myself, whinging and whining about all the uh, latest designer releases being generic and boring and having poor performance. Uh, well, this one, I'm very pleased to say, is none of those. And it's probably one of the nicest surprises that I've stumbled across in a very long time. It's a blend of fruity and spicy notes, and it includes the note of mango, which is what gives it its uh, interesting character. It opens up fresh and crisp with the green apple and the mandarin combining with the cardamom and you have a little bit of black pepper also providing a, a bit of a spicy kick. Some people may find it a little bit synthetic for the first couple of minutes or so but I don't mind it at all. 
Uh, you then get this really gorgeous fruity mango which jumps out that's just really different and pleasing. But whilst this is going on, there's like a, a classic designer scent DNA running parallel in, it, parallel in the background and you get kind of an hybrid between Dior Sauvage and Versace Eros Flame. Uh, but I'd say that this one has just got like a more of like a, a little unique fruity twist and when i've tested them side by side with these two it definitely does have its uh, own identity it smells sweet but yet fresh and fruity but yet masculine and there's just plenty going on in this one and every time you smell it you can pick up on a another little like nuance that you didn't smell before there's a watery aquatic element to it in the beginning and a bit of an earthiness when you get deeper into the life of the scent. Uh, but this all happens in the background behind the sweet and the spicy notes. There's violet and lavender which bring some light florals to the heart of the scent and, the, and we've also then got the, the vetiver, the moss and the teak which just adds like a masculine backbone. And it all, all in all it's just a very very nice bl uh, roundly blended fragrance, it just smells absolutely amazing. This is genuinely an all year round fragrance and even though it's fairly sweet, it's still got enough freshness to wear on hotter days of the year. There's also enough depth for the cold days, uh, but what I think this one would probably shine the most is to wear on a night out or as a clubbing fragrance. It's quite playful and it's got a re really vibrant energy and it's one that's just going to pop when you drift past someone uh, and leave a really gorgeous scent trail in your wake. It's uh, probably a bit too loud to wear as a work scent if you're in a confined space and you work uh, in close proximity to other people. Uh, but I don't think it's one that's going to annoy anyone. I'd say just go a little bit more easier on the sprays if you, if you plan to wear it as an office scent. Without sounding like a, a sexist old man, I think this is one that's uh, where a high percentage of women are going to find this extremely attractive when they smell it on a man. It's a very sexy and seductive smelling scent and this one uh, would be a winner on a date night. It's an EDP concentration and it lasts easily 10 hours with a pretty loud projection. It is going to fill a room if you go heavy on the sprayer and I know that it has a huge projection because I've only worn it three times and I've had family members and mates at work asking me what I'm wearing and some of them have actually asked me if I've uh, taken a bath in it so maybe I won't do the uh, 10 sprays next time and only do five instead. Oops. Yes, yeah, so if you enjoy fragrances in the ballpark of like Ultra Male and Sauvage and Eros Flame, then I would say that you are going to love this one uh, because I think it's it takes a little bit of all of those three and it just adds a sprinkling of its own character, which results in a versatile and mass appealing scent that's a total complement magnet. It's po uh, probably not going to be uh, for your hardcore fragheads because it does have that fresh and fruity shower gel type thing going on. And we all know that the uh, the worst thing in the world to a fragrance connoisseur is a, a scent that smells really nice and that everyone's going to enjoy. Uh, but for a normal guy who's just looking for one fragrance uh, to wear all year round as a, a signature scent, I would say that this is an absolute belter. It's a little bit pricey at full retail, uh, but now that it's hit the discounters, I think it's a, a no-brainer at £75 for a 100ml bottle size. It's a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me, uh, but it might be a bit on the bubblegummy sweet and juvenile side for some people, so I'd say just try and get hold of a, a sample of it before uh, blind buying it, but it is, uh, I would say it's a pretty safe blind buy for most people. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But hopefully I'll receive a delivery tomorrow so I can bring you an exclusive first look at the brand new Wood on Fire from Montal. So if it arrives, I will upload it at 7pm tomorrow night, so don't forget to tune in for that one. Also next week I've got a couple of uh, perfume parlour hauls to talk about as well as my first haul from KDJ Inspired which is uh, another clone house that I've not used before so that's going to be quite exciting. And I've also got a, a couple of uh, really good cheapies to, uh, to talk about so a lot to look forward to next week.
And as always, guys, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's always great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques you know, on all of the fragrances that feature in this 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye-bye for now.